let me go. I'll do anything. Just let me live. Did you taste the Count's blood? I don't know. Did you taste his blood? I, I don't know what you mean. Very well. I won't hurt you. I'll take you back to Falkenberg. Falkenberg?、Uh, yes, your home. I'm not from Falkenberg. The mayor. What do you know of the man in this portrait? I've never seen him before. Stranger, what are you doing? I'm about to kill you. Are you out of your mind? How many times do I have to tell you that being half vampire doesn't make me evil? You sound like you're back to normal now. Almost. I feel like I've been kicked in the head. My ears are ringing. I had to fight off the Count's influence, and it wasn't easy. I vaguely remember talking to him, but it's all a blur. He drove his own will into my mind and controlled me like a puppet. I've never had my mind taken over like that before. He was extremely powerful. Not powerful enough. It's ironic that you saved me, considering our past. We have no past. Try as you might, you can't forget everything. I can. If you say so. Shall we be off? It looks like we've managed to save at least one of the villagers' daughters. What's your name? Nocha. Come with us. Your parents in Falkenberg will be delighted to see you. I'm not so sure about that. She's not from Falkenberg. In fact, I don't think anything the mayor told us was the truth. Look at this portrait. The mayor of Falkenberg? I think he's held other titles in the past. I knew it. I thought the scent of vampires was too strong in that town. I assumed that the count and his minions had left that smell. Ha!、Huh. It makes perfect sense now. What makes perfect sense? The mayor is the true lord of this castle. The count was his son. The old vampire and his retainers must have been banished to Falkenberg, exiled from his own kingdom, and herded with werewolves. The crazy man we met outside the village wasn't escaping from just the sentinels. He was escaping from the townsfolk themselves. They are vampires, and he was meant to be their food. An entire town of vampires held captive by the count. Why didn't he just kill them all? I don't know. Perhaps I can explain. You made a huge mistake in showing yourself. Now that I know who you are. Clever girl, this one. I thought she might have been a dampier when she first came into the village. I thought for sure she would detect us, but she never puts the clues together. So I was right. The count was your son. Yes, that insolent bastard. Now that you've killed him, my people and I can return home to this castle. Stranger, put your guns away. You know I have no sense of humor. I'm not joking, stranger. You'd be wise to do as your friend says. I have no friends. Then you would be wise to make her one. The reason my son did not kill me was because he did not know how to properly utilize the yatki. Until I revealed its secret to him, he knew he could not kill me. But I would not give up that secret easily. The yatki. Yes. Now that it's back in my control, things can return to normal around here. My son managed to separate me from the Yatki long enough to overpower me. I've spent the past hundred years waiting for the misused power of this stone to destroy him. Thank you for accelerating the process. My followers and I have tried to reclaim the castle by force on a number of occasions. You might have seen the aftermath of those attempts littering the forest and this castle, and beyond my son's resistance, the werewolves of the forest interfered with our attempts as well. There were times when three separate forces met in those accursed woods. You've proven yourself quite capable. If you want to be a human, I'd ask you to join me. As it is. I would be honored if this lady were to join my ranks. No thanks. I have other obligations. 
A foolish choice, my dear. Now I suppose there's nothing left for me to do but kill you. <laughs> but since you have helped me to regain my castle and the Yatki, I'll overlook the fact that you have killed my minions and the brides I have taken the past millennium to collect. You are free to leave this castle. Take with you this pitiful girl child my son failed to make his own bride. But know that if you ever set foot in this house again, you will belong to me. Thank you, kind sir. What about the stone? The stone stays, stranger. We leave. Now. Not until our mission is complete. Stranger, you cannot see the things that I see. You must simply trust me when I say that his offer to leave must be taken. His son, the Count, was a frail degenerate compared to him. So our mission is a failure? Not necessarily. I doubt this man will make the same mistake twice. He will not allow another to overthrow him. And whether the Yatki is locked in Spookhouse's basement or in this vampire's castle, we at least know where it resides. But he's a blood-sucking vampire. As soon as we leave, he'll be out looking for more food and new brides. Innocent humans will have their lives torn apart. We'll deal with him when the time is right. But there's nothing the two of us can do about it now, alone. Throwing ourselves at him would be suicide, so calm down. Besides, you already got to kill a really powerful vampire today, so cheer up. Hmm. 